Actually, I have two important snow survival tips for the home anyway, not survival out in wilderness. But one of them is when you're walking on snow, I don't care how old you are, <laughs> but certainly when you're older, you want to walk very carefully. Let's see if I can get the right angle here. But bending your knees and going real, real slow. Okay, real, real slow. The worst thing in snow is overconfidence. We think, hey, we can go check the mail, and then whoosh, we slip right on our butts. So go real, real slow, okay? Um, you gotta take your time in the snow, because this stuff gets really, really slick, and it's real, real easy to fall. You also have salt. Okay, salt, not sand per se. I like to use the granular crystallized salt, okay? And this stuff is excellent for driveways. And not only does it melt, the snow and ice, but it creates a little bit of a grip. So when you put this down on the ground, you have something that your feet go on, okay? So you get a crunch on the ground and you don't slip as bad. And I get these nice uh, sand shovels, if you will. Sometimes you can use small frying pans and then just give it a good scatter. Just throw it right up in the air and let it rain down on your driveway and it slowly starts to melt. There are lots of snow moving tools that you can use too. Lots of different shovels. We have the standard shovel, which of course, remember, not to hurt your back, you want to just push the snow. You take a shovel like this, and you just push the snow. Okay, that's classic tool number one. Your average snow shovel. Then we get a little larger. This is what I call the medium snow pusher, okay? This one here, it's lightweight, plastic, and this is meant for pushing more. So again, so you don't hurt your back, you push the snow. Don't lift the snow, push the snow. And then finally, I have this, this monster. This is my massive snow pusher. Got this on Amazon, I believe it was 50, 60 bucks. And this one is super wide. And this one allows you to certainly push a lot more snow. It's kind of like a, uh, like a mini snow plow. So it's, just, it's good for cleaning up. So that's that one there. Then there's the, the car cleaner, the snow brush. This is very lightweight and this one's excellent because you know, you can reach over the top of your car and pull the snow off of your car safely without scratching it. And it's also very light too. So in an emergency or situation, you actually use this to pull snow away from your vehicle. Just be careful not to get salt and sand on it because then you could scratch your car with it too. So you always kind of tap that off, flip it maybe before you continue to clean your car. And finally, when it comes to shoveling snow, you want to take it easy. Okay, you want to have good posture. Don't bend over and, you know, tug using your back. It's a sure way to hurt your spine. You want to stand up nice and tall and have good posture. Just think like a straight up and down shovel. Okay, up and down, up and down. Use your legs. Take a little bit of snow in the shovel. You know, don't take too much in the shovel where it gets too heavy. And just take your time, be nice and slow. Always use upright posture. Never ever bend your spine and lift with your spine. Bend your knees, bend your hips, relax and shovel just a little bit of snow at a time. That way you're sure not to get hurt. You know, snow can get very heavy, very dense, filled with water. So make sure to take little teeny bits. And the other thing I like to do is use a nice light shovel. Make sure you have a light, nice light shovel. You don't need anything fancy. Just take your time, okay? Take your time and enjoy the winter. Enjoy the snow. And you're sure not to get hurt. 